Jack Tomczak. That's Andrew Lee. Good morning. Happy Monday, everybody. Okay. Everybody Andrew, else's microphone was on. Thank, except thank for you. Andrew's. Thank you. Everyone else's was on, though. So, I mean, like. There's only three people here. <laughs> We mean everyone else. The other three microphones. The, other, in that the two room. that aren't being used yes. were on. That's yes. good. Well, Happy Monday, everybody. I was everybody. wondering why you were talking. What happened? I was talking. I was talking loudly. I don't understand what have, my mic was on. Yeah. Lump's mic is on. Right. I think that means. What's the problem? Okay. I think that means Andrew's fired. <laughs> Uh, in solidarity with my co-host who's leaving, it would be uh, <laughs> it's a good idea if I leave with him, I think. And then it's the Lump Show. We would not, I would not want to do that. I would not want to impose that upon the Twin Cities. That is actually that be... an FCC violation. Probably. I think we'd get fined. Personally, and the company would, and every listener. And it's offensive. Mm-hmm. It's just offensive. That's why they give out fines. The Lump Show. <laughs> Ponies. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. How was everybody's weekend? Fabulous. We had a great time at the auto show yesterday. We had a brief time at the auto show yesterday, it was brief. and I'm irritated about that. Why? I blame you, family. Oh. <laughs> were they uh, Were they eager for you to get back home? Yeah. I have responsibilities as a father, <laughs> apparently. But I, uh, I love the auto show. Yeah, the I auto show is really cool. It's uh, the be- of all the shows... It's the best to bum around. Yeah. I like it a lot. Yeah. But no, I'd go home and be a dad. So thanks to everybody that came out and said hello. We had a, a nice smattering of Up and Adam fans stopping by and uh, and saying hello and watching the show in the iHeart Radio Listening Lounge. Mm-hmm. Just show up next time. No need to smatter. No <laughs> Just need. Just smatter around. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lump wasn't there. Yeah, she apparently was ponying all weekend. She has some wonderful pictures on her Facebook page. Yeah, why Why didn't you make it to the auto show? You promised everybody. That's we did not the, even true. We did, no, it is true. We did the post-show <laughs> podcast on Friday. And I told you. And you oh, sat I right there. Think, I don't think I could make and it. And you promised. The post-show podcast isn't canon. It's full of lies. <laughs> Nobody takes that thing seriously. <laughs> he's just jealous because he's not on it. Anymore. The post-show podcast is like so the fan fiction of Up and Adam. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. <laughs> if you would, uh, if you would like to listen to the post-show podcast, go to bucketofcrap.com. <laughs> on the show maybe today, that, maybe we should put it there. <laughs> well, after they fix Ben, sure, you can, you can point yeah. it in that direction. <laughs> Long-time listeners know what the heck we're talking about. We'll be talking about Mincher at 7.55, the 8 o'clock hour today, with Matt Dean, state representative out of the uh, Stillwater-ish area, who is starting a campaign to stop Mincher. Mm -hmm. That's all I know. And he's got a petition on his website, which I've said before, I don't believe in politicians and their petitions because it's just a way to collect contact information. So I don't know what he intends to do with this petition he's making, but I do know that on his website, mattdean.org, He has a video of a man, Charlie Dunker, and Charlie in this video talks about he and his wife's challenges and and difficulties with Minsher. Charlie's going to be joining him as well. It is a heartbreaking story. It'll make you both sad and angry. Be here at 8. Yeah, if you you have some time before then, if you want to watch Charlie Dunker's story, I'm actually putting it up on the uh, Up and Adam blog right now. So in about 10 minutes or so, It'll be live. I'll post mm-hmm. out a link on our Facebook page and on the Up and Adam Twitter account once once it's live. Uh, take uh, take five minutes or so and yep. watch this video uh, because it will infuriate and depress you, which is a great way to start a Monday. <laughs> Up and <laughs> Adam, infuriating and week. depressing. <laughs> hashtag infuriating and depressing. <laughs> That's a long hashtag. I don't. I don't know. Then at the end of the show, at 8.40, we'll be talking with uh, John Justice, former host for Andrew down in Arizona, and he'll mm-hmm. be telling us about the the Donald Trump protests down there. Yeah, the uh, Trump was in Arizona, as was Sanders, and uh, and I think Clinton was there this uh, this weekend. And there was uh, he did Trump did a rally in Phoenix, and then he was heading down to Tucson after the rally in Phoenix. And there's one highway that goes from Phoenix to Tucson, I-10. Uh, it's basically the only way to get there. And protesters had blocked the highway, I guess, trying to impede the Trump caravan from even getting to Tucson. So they weren't sure. When I was uh, texting back and forth with John and another friend of mine down there that were both planning on attending the rally, uh, they were both saying, at this point, we don't even know if it's happening. 
you know, it's been delayed. It's been, it might get canceled. Um, but it, it, it did end up uh, going off. There was some altercations there. John was there. So he'll give us a on the ground report. Was there anybody in a, in a clan outfit? Yes, there was. All right. Be sure to be here. At 8.30. Imagine if those ideological roles were flipped, right? Somebody goes to a Trump pro, somebody goes to a Trump rally protesting Trump, puts on a Klan outfit, and starts taunting and harassing African-American Trump supporters, uh-huh. right? Let's flip the roles. Sure. Let's say it's a Sanders rally. Mm-hmm. Somebody shows up, puts mm-hmm. on a Klan outfit, starts mm-hmm. taunting. I mean, they would basically take that seriously. Oh, look, the Klan showed up. Right. Oh, look, they're showing their true colors. Mm-hmm. But yet when uh, when somebody's Trump protesting Trump, it's it's virtuous. Which does somehow okay make any sense at all because a Democrat protesting a Republican, if the Democrat is wearing the Klan outfit, that is historically accurate. As I've said a thousand times, and I'll keep saying it until everybody understands, Democrats are to the Klan to keep black people from voting. This is an upbeat show today. <laughs> It was a really <laughs> weird way to start. Mm-hmm. The week. Mm-hmm. And we're going to be talking at seven o'clock the new push by neighborhoods organizing for change. That is the new name for Acorn in this state. They're trying to get uh, reparations built into the DFL platform, mm-hmm. um, which I am actually for. I am for reparations, and at seven o'clock we will tackle that issue. And I'll explain myself. Do not tune away between now and then. At all. At all. If you're listening to this on podcast, keep listening. Yeah. Don't fast forward. (laughs) Listen. If you're watching the behind the scenes video, go get the podcast. Right. Do that. All right, Andrew. What's at the top of the news bag? Uh, speaking of reparations, mm-hmm. one of the uh, one of the issues, one of Dayton's top priorities. He's got so many. Uh, this session has been to tackle the uh, the income gap, okay. the, the the achievement gap mm-hmm. in uh, over the racial disparities in income and education sure. in Minnesota. Uh, we actually have some details finally on on what he's proposing. All that and more when we return.